hello, this is Sue Grant from Burthen and we're just going to have another look at the Dixon 73 La Luna. Here she is in Valencia on an early spring morning. She is now birthed here, looked after by our team in Spain and she is very for sale. Built to Rena and MCA by King Marine in 2008. We'll just hop aboard. This is a carbon passerelle. And have a look at the helm positions and cockpit area and see her on deck. King Marine used vacuum infusion e-glass with PVC foam on a male mold and she's got carbon reinforcement. Of course, the uh, deck is similarly made and it's teak overlaid. Twin wheels, amazing vision. And this yacht was specified to be an owner driver yacht that would have a paid hand. The owner wanted her to be reliable, fast, safe, and rewarding to sail. And I have to say that she has been many miles with him and she certainly delivered on all those points. She's got a big rib there with center console. The outboard makes water skiing possible if you really wish. It stows on deck in this sort of environment. There's also the possibility to store it aft when you are on big passages. She's got Reckman furling on the front. Under deck, this is all really nice. Sails are Doyle. She has a lovely, clean line, flush hatches, very modern look, and beautifully put together and well looked after. There you go. And here, this spa is, of course, carbon. It's by Hall. She's got swept back spreaders, carbon rigging, all very light, very strong, and adds to the performance and, of course, uh, keeps the weight aloft down. And there's her deck house which really works well because it gives lots of light down below and it doesn't look stumpy. It's really fantastic. For the owner, performance was important, but also usability, which is why he specified this in-boom furling system, which works absolutely brilliantly and makes the boat ferociously quick, but very easy to handle. He's sailed a lot just with the family or with him and his captain and one other, say. Again, we're coming back now into the cockpit. All the winches are powered. You've got central main sheet point. Very easy for the helm to get at. And this lovely entertaining cockpit which of course is nice and close to the helm, so everybody is involved in the sailing as well as the drinking of beer. Cockpit table of course is refrigerated. Gin and tonic seats at the back of course. And we're seeing a lovely sunny day in Spain. Not at all like the UK at the moment. This video was shot in early March, so this really is how the yacht is today. And there we are, we're going to have a look down below next. Now we're in the deck saloon of La Luna. You can see she's got this very funky table on the port side. That's on a lift, so it's high or low, depending whether it's coffee or dining or whatever. Lovely blue leather upholstery. And you have this amazing 
fabulous 360 degree virtually vision which is absolutely fantastic when you're cruising or even when you're in port and great for people who get a little bit seasick because it's all about eye line. Flat screen TV and very wide shallow steps out into the cockpit which is great. And now we're going to go down into the aft sleeping accommodation. Bear in mind this yacht is 73 feet and she's got an absolutely amazing rear end in terms of volume design and usability for owner and guests. So light and airy. So we're going to start in the owner's stateroom. Enormous double berth. Of course it's all set up with leakers and stuff. You've got sofas port and starboard, um, his and hers hanging lockers, huge amounts of storage everywhere. And you've got these hull ports which make it a very light and airy and welcoming place to spend time. The beach is detailed with these stainless steel strips which do look super and they're picked up throughout the yacht. We're going to move out of the owner's cabin, but not before we've had a look at the owner's heads compartment. Very funky basin, looks cool, sitting on Corian. This video was taken by my colleague Addy from Birth in Spain. You can see her in the mirror. And then a vast separated shower compartment. with lots of headroom as well. One of the things about La Luna is that the headroom is epic everywhere on the yacht. This joinery is all in great shape. Very well detailed. King Marine were chosen for their knowledge of high-tech build and also they do some fabulous joinery. She was actually built in Brazil and then corridor in front of us is the entrance to the engine room. And here is the VIP cabin. Absolutely enormous double berth, again with lots of storage. Both these guest cabins, this one and the upper and lower, they have opening hatches inboard of the cockpit which means that these are both light and airy and they're also really well ventilated. Of course, La Luna is air conditioned throughout, but it's nice to have some natural air when you're at anchor. Very smart door furniture. And then this is a really spacious upper and lower berth cabin which works really well for guests that don't sleep together or for kids or however you want to use the boat. Forward there's another enormous double which is, can either be crew or this could be crew and you could have three large double cabins in this size of boat which is fantastic. This is the heads compartment aft, which serves both these guest cabins. Again, another absolutely vast separated shower stall. Corian surfaces, light, bright, airy, easy to keep clean. And all, as you can see, in really nice shape. Uh, do you see the stainless steel detailing on the steps going back up into the main saloon? And so up we come into the main saloon again. White carpets. Beneath there is Antico flooring. Stainless steel outlets for the aircon, very smart.
and then we are having a look at the chart table. Nice little chair for that and a single seat on the starboard side. Look at that great vision. And now we're going to go down into the forward section of La Luna. As you come down on the starboard side, you've got this nice sofa, which is a nice, secure place to be. And it's also opposite the galley. So if your family's sailing, it's a great place to hang out. This is one amazing galley. Look at that huge storage, loads of space for all the gear for proper cooking, microwave, massive refrigeration, and all moulded so it's really easy to work in a seaway. Does look very smart. Of course the whole of this bulkhead is refrigeration and Addy's just going to open the left hand side just to let you see custom built and there's even uh, a bottle of champagne for the next owner. See how well matched the veneers are. It's the same throughout the yacht. And she's all spotlessly clean and fresh. Coming forward, there is a third heads, which has a separated shower stall for crew and also could be a day head if you had lots of people on board for the day. Really nice area here, really quite intimate. And then we're coming forward into an enormous crew cabin, could be third guest, as I said big sofa or passage berth here. There's a big area for storage just to the left of that. This owner specified this because his crew were on board for a world cruise with him and they were part of the family and he wanted them to be super comfortable, which is a really good idea. You've also got these steps up, so they've got separated access up onto the deck. We're walking back aft. Through this really nice little area. All of the switch panels are here which are very logical. Addie's just gonna open one up so that you can have a quick look. There we go. And then back up into the main saloon. Another look at that great view. Dixon 73, La Luna, ready to be sold, looking gleaming, in Valencia. Ask us for more information. Now we're going to take a look at the engine room in La Luna. It's accessed from the lower corridor aft, and there is a lugger, 250 horsepower unit. She's called Lucy, and she's all in good shape. Next door to her is the Northern Lights generator, 
that's 20 kVA as you can see she's called Nancy these units have both been serviced she's also had a lot of work carried out on the hydraulics and the, you can see the HEM water maker over there on the right chargers on the other side she's got a variable propeller this is a really nice space for getting around and seeing exactly where everything is. You see the air conditioning units there. Access is really very good. Although you do have to stoop. And here are the chargers inverters better look at the water maker. And everything is extremely well documented and marked up on La Luna because she's always been a family yacht with crew so the owner was also involved in the service intervals of the machinery. Good sound deadening. As with all the yachts, there's always more that you can do in an engine room. Pumping systems here. Exhaust. And now we're backing out and shutting the door. <laughs>